Test mic sound check. Test mic sound check. Can you hear me okay? So it's 7 11 p.m. here. So we have uh, 19 minutes. Hey, what's up? Mbongi Zibanda. Good evening here. So good morning in South Africa. So can you hear me okay? Okay, so can you please say hi in our live chat if you can hear me okay and if you can see the video okay. All right, so thanks for that. So we still have 17 minutes. So to those of you who is already online, so here is our exercise files, okay? Because I love you guys, so you can download the exercise files here. All right? Good. Hey, what's up, Boris? Uh, no, it's mine is not blinking. Okay, you can download now the exercise files here. Usually, I you have to pay for these exercise files, but since I love you guys, you can now download the files from there. <laughs> So while we are not yet starting on our discussion, you can ask me questions. So if I know the answer, I'm going to a uh, answer you, of course. But if I'm not, I'm really sorry about that. Okay, you can put your question in the live chat. So hopefully I know the answer. If it is not, then sorry for that. My knowledge in Revit is very limited. So shout out to Embo Embongeni Sibanda. So hopefully I pronounce your name correctly. And to Boris Choka Boris. Hmm. Why you could not down couldn't download the tutorial three video of this course? Oh, so you're downloading the video from the YouTube Boris? Is that correct? Oh, I wonder why you can't download. Let me check my settings there. I didn't do anything on that one. Let me check my YouTube. Videos. Live videos. Hmm, 
I don't see any restriction on my uh, video number three bars. Not sure what is happening. So maybe is it because of the internet connection? I'm not sure. So we still have 14 minutes, guys. So you can eat your lunch, your breakfast, your dinner. Okay, so thank you for the five viewers and thank you for the three likes. Okay, so I'm just here, just going to put down my headset. I'll just do some uh, warm up, okay? I'm just going to push up.
download the exercise files here okay I'm just doing some warm-up Up. So I'm just doing some uh, warm up because it's really cold here, and good thing the winter will gonna end this month. So next month it's now springtime. Okay. Hey, good evening, Mom Analizet La Reza and Sahiba Gujral. Don't forget to download the exercise files, okay? Usually, you need to pay for this, but since I love you guys, you can download it here for free. Okay, download the file so that you can uh, redo the exercises that we'll be doing today or tonight, this morning or this afternoon. So again, shout out to uh, Mbugeni Sibanda, Boris, Anna, and Sahiba. And to all other viewers that is not chatting. Okay, I really appreciate guys coming over here on my live stream. Whew. Okay, let me just do more warm-up. Okay, good afternoon, Sahiba.
Okay, four minutes. All right, so we'll be starting in two minutes. All right, so we'll be starting in a few seconds from now. Whew. Okay, all right, so our topic for today, as you can see on our uh, title, so we'll be talking about ways to control the object visibility, this time using the template and filter. Okay, on our last video, we already discussed some of the things that we can use or some of the tools that we can use to control the object visibility, such as your visibility graphic overrides. If you still remember, that is your VV, right? So if you are going to type uh, VV in your, as your keyboard shortcut, so you'll be able to see the visibility graphic override, which is this one, right? So your visibility graphic overrides, it affects your current view. So my current view here is 3D, which is uh, this one, right? So it's highlighted. You can also check out your title bar. So it's 3D. So my visibility graphic overrides will only affect the current view, all right? Now, another way to control the object visibility, aside from the visibility graphic overrides, is, of course, by using your properties, okay? So, here on our properties, if you are going to check out the extents um, 
parameters, you can see here the crop view, the crop region visible, the annotation crop, okay, and the uh, uh, section box, right? So these are some of the tools that we can use to control it and as well as the graphics. If you go to the graphics, you can control there the scale. You can also control there the discipline. And aside from that, you can also go to your, what's this? If you still remember, okay, you still remember what is this called? This bottom portion here, these tools here. Anyone on our chat, you still remember that? I think I discussed that during the day one, okay? Okay, so I still remember that. Anyone in chat? Okay, so if you already forgot that one, that is what we call the view control bar, okay? So in our view control bar, here you can find as well the scale. You can also find here the detail level, the visibility graphic overrides, the crop region as well, and then the crop view, toggle on and off, and then you can also lock the 3D view here. You can uh, temporarily hide and isolate your element, and you can also use the reveal hidden elements just in case you want to see the elements that is currently hidden in your view. Okay, so these are just some of the tools that we know that we can use to control the object, visibil uh, object visibility, all right? So this time around, let's talk about the view templates. Okay, the view templates, you can find it here on the view tab. If you go to the view tab, so by the way, the file that I am opening that is currently open is managing views. Okay, so if I go to the view tab here from the graphics panel, you can see the view templates. Okay, if you click the drop down arrow, you can see the different options here to manage your view templates, such as apply template properties to the current view, create template from current view, and then manage view template. Okay, so what is view template? So your view template, as the definition says here, it creates, edits, and applies standardized settings to views. So a view template is a collection of view properties. So what are these view properties? That is a scale, that's a discipline, a detail level, and visibility settings. Okay? So those that we have modified or used before from the properties, these are some of the settings that you can include to your view templates. Okay? So basically, view templates contain the standard settings of a view that you want to, send, uh, to set to your project. So Revit provides uh, certain default templates. If you're going to click that and then check the Manage View Templates, you'll be able to see here some of the default templates, okay, which is this one, okay? So of course, you can also create uh, personalized view templates for a specific view condition. Okay, so as you can see, this is the uh, window or the dialog box for your view template. And you can also see some uh, view template options there, okay, when you set up your view template, right? Okay, hey, what's up, Narendra Rajput? Okay, good afternoon there, good evening here. All right. Okay, so what, what we are going to do is, using this exercise file, we are going to explore our uh, view template. Okay, so that is what we are going to do. So we are going to work on our view template. So just the guidelines when working for your view, just a review as well. Okay, so if you already forgot some, some things of the, some discussion that we did last time. So when working in a view, uh, you plan to develop further by using uh, elements, drafting elements, just like what we used last time, the crop region as the required. And again, you can also pin the, the boundary in your position when you crop it. Okay, so by pinning your elements, 
this prevents you from it, uh, uh, inadvertently moving the, the view uh, boundary. And then what else that we can do as a guidelines in uh, controlling our views? So you can also set up the detail views. Okay. And you can also use here the tools on our view here if you want to uh, switch to another view like tile windows you can type wt like for example i have here two views already open if i want to see these two views i'm just going to type wt right wt that is tile windows okay so that at least you can see what is happening here in your project so as you can see i have two views here 3d view and then a floor plan view by the way this is a uh, two different files okay so I'm just going to maximize this view. So to maximize your current view, which is this one, so you can go ahead and you can click this icon here. Okay, tab views. Okay, you can just click that one, All right? Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is from the project browser, okay, so I'm going to modify or edit my uh, project here. So in this exercise, we are going to explore the different views displayed and then after that we're going to apply view templates and then we are going to modify some view properties okay so let's say for example this is your project you are working on a building and you want to observe the different views of the model and then we're going to apply view templates and then we're going to change the view properties to get a clear idea of the building okay so basically we will be exploring views displayed in our project browser i think we already did that last time right we already opened some uh views on our project browser and then aside from that we're going to apply view templates we're going to change the view properties and we're going to change the element display in our view and let's say we're going to change as well the doc display on our project okay right so let's get started so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, open my mm, let's say uh, level 2 hbac plant so let's open up the level 2 hbac plant just double click that view okay that one so this is the view that we are going to uh, modify all right so what i'm going to do is if you remember last time i have shown you how to duplicate your view right so let's duplicate this one so let's say i'm going to duplicate my level 2 hvac plan so i'm going to right click this or sorry i'm going to right click this and then i'm going to select duplicate okay so i already discussed the, the difference the difference of this uh duplicates okay so i'm going to select duplicate here and then i'm just going to change the name of this one so i'm going to right click and then I'm going to rename this. So let's say, for example, I'm going to call this uh, Level 2 HVAC Plan Return. Okay. So that's the return. So basically, we are creating views for our HVAC Plan. So for this one, we want to be specific. So let's say, for example, I only want to show here the return duct. Okay. I do not want to show the other uh, the other service or the other system okay so my goal to this view is I want to show only the return now I'm going to create another view here so I'm going to right click the level 2 HBAC plan I'm going to duplicate so this time around I'm gonna use duplicate with detailing so I select that okay so there's now my duplicate so right click rename so this time i'm gonna call this uh supply all right supply okay so that's my supply so basically what i want to do is i only want to show here the supply all right no worries miss anna okay so no worries it's uh, you're welcome sorry about my late reply to you guys because I'm doing a discussion so I really seldom look at my live chat when I'm doing the discussion so hopefully you understand me okay 
So I'm just going back again to the discussion. So right now I'm looking on our chat. So the last chat that I've seen is from Anna. So you're welcome. Okay, so I'm, I'm now going to the to the discussion. All right. Okay, now, so my goal to this view here, I want to show the supply only. So basically, let's say I do not want to show here the the return. I only want to show the supply. So that's the that's the idea. And I think you already know what's the difference between the duplicate and duplicate as a detailing or duplicate with detailing. So this is our main view, right? If I double click that, this view actually contains a tag, right? So for my return, since I only use here duplicate, okay, if I'm going to zoom in, the tags are not included, right? Unlike our original view here, which includes the tag. So if we use only duplicate, it only duplicate the 3D view or the model elements. It will not include the detailing. Okay, so now on our HBAC plan supply, here we use duplicate with detailing. That's why you will notice it also duplicates the tag. Okay, so that is what happens. So what I'm going to do is, if I want to see all of this view in my screen, so again, I'm just going to type WT, and I'm just going to type ZA, okay, ZA, Zulu Alpha, okay, ZA, so that means zoom all to fit, okay, so zoom all to fit, ZA, so as you can see, it will now zoom in all my views, which is pretty handy, all right? Okay, now the next thing that we are going to do after learning or reviewing the duplicate is that we are going to apply view template, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to maximize the return, okay, this one. This is my return, right? So I'm just going to maximize that. So I'm going to click here because that is my return. So I'm going to click to this window and then I'm going to select here, tab, views. Just click that. All right, so there you go. So there's now my... Uh, return okay so there's now my return so I'm going to apply now here the the view template now to start with what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, right click the return here I'm going to right click this so right click and then there's an option here or to apply template properties and then the other one here is create view template from view. Okay. Now, before I select any of these two options, so what I'm going to do is from the view tab, I'm going to select here the view templates, drop down, and then I'm going to select the manage view template. So I click that one. And then from the dialog box here, we can see the different types of the view template. So currently here on our view type filter, it's selected all. Same with the discipline filter here. It's selected all because you can filter this. So if I click the drop down, so let's say I only want the mechanical uh, uh, view templates. So I can just select mechanical here. There you go. Now for the view type filter, so if I want the floor plan only, I can just select here floor plan, structural, and area plan. So I can click that because currently here, on our current uh, filter, it shows all the view, right, of our mechanical. So let's say I only want here the floor structural area plan. The reason why we are uh, I'm showing this is that I'm showing you the current filter or the current view template, not filter, the current view template that is currently created in your project, okay? Because before you create your view template, might as well check some of the default or created view templates already in your project. So like this one. And one thing I notice here is that there is already a view template here created, right? So there is already a view template created in my project. So this view template here, this HVAC return, this is the view properties of that. Okay, so as you can see, it has its own uh, custom scale here, view custom, and then this is the current scale. 
So let's say for my HVAC return, this template, if I want this to be applied to a certain view, I want that view to be 1 is to 100. So I'm going to select this one, and then I'm going to change here the scale value. So instead of 1 is to 32, I'm just going to type 1 is to 100. So that in every view where I'm going to apply this template, the scale of that will automatically becomes 1 is to 100. Okay, so you get the idea. So these view properties that we have here for our HVAC return, it will all apply to the view if you're going to apply this view template to that one, to the view. Okay, and as you can see, you also have here uh, sets of visibility graphic overrides. You see that VG. VG stands for visibility graphics. Okay, so of course, again, you can edit that. If you click, you should be able to see the visibility graphic overrides of what? Of the view template of the HVAC return. Okay, you can go to the annotation categories. You can go to the analytical, you can go to the imported, you can also go to the filters. So basically, these are the settings for your HVAC return view template. Okay, to those of you who do not know what is HVAC stands for, it is heating, ventilating, air conditioning. Okay, in other country, like uh, let's say Singapore, so they call it, some of them call it ACMB like uh, air conditioning, mechanical ventilating, something like that, okay? So in some country, like here in uh, New Zealand, so it's HVAC, heating, ventilating, uh, air conditioning, okay? So correct me if I'm wrong. All right, so let me just close this one, so I'll now go back, okay? So basically, each view templates that you have here, it contains its own view properties here. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to select the HVAC return. I'm just going to tweak or modify this. Actually, I already modify. I changed already the scale. Right? I already changed the scale of this one. I changed it to 1 is to 100. So, this view template, what it do is, it shows only the return in your... Uh, HVAC plan. So, because in our current view here, since this view, the return, we copy it from the original uh, plan here, which is the level 2 HVAC plan. Currently, it shows all the uh, system, like the return, exhaust, and then, the and then the supply. Okay, now, if we are going to apply the HVAC return to our current view here, so what will happen is the settings of this HVAC return will going to be applied to our view here. So it will show only the return. So let us check out our filter here. Because in this view, in our view template, there's already filter that is already set here. Like if I'm going to select your edit, okay, they already created these two filter, the mechanical return, and then the mechanical supply. As you can see, your mechanical return here, the visibility is checked. And then for the mechanical supply, the visibility is unchecked. So basically, if we are going to apply our HVAC return to any view, it will hide the mechanical supply system and it will show the mechanical return system. That is what you're going to expect. So let's try this one. So I'm going to select OK. I'm going to select OK here. Now, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the view template here. So I'm going to right click and then I'm going to select Apply Template Properties. Let's click that one. And then from the Apply View Template dialog box, let's look for HVAC Return. And as you can see, currently our scale here is 1 is to 32. If I'm going to apply the HVAC return properties, it will become 1 is to 100. And it will show us only the return here, the return system. So I'm going to select OK. Let's check this out. There you go. See? 
And then you see the scale here? It's 1 is to 100. Right? We only apply the view template here, the HVAC return, the properties, the view properties. Okay? I just right click and then I only apply the template properties. I did not assign the view template itself. I only apply the template property. Okay? So don't be confused. Okay? So take it slow. We only apply the template properties of the view template HVAC return. We did not assign yet the HVAC return view template. To prove that, I'm going to check the properties and then I'm going to check here the view template. Okay, you see? The view template here is none. Okay, because what we did is we only apply the template properties. Do you have any questions regarding that? Okay, do you have any questions? Okay, so I know this will going to be a bit of a delay when you reply and when you receive my question. So I'll just wait for a while. Oh, so no question. That's good. <laughs> Okay, so that's good. No question. Shall we proceed? Okay, shall we proceed? Give me a thumbs up or just say okay. If you say okay, we are going to proceed. It's not difficult, right? So we just take it slow. Alright, so let's move on. So I'm going to move on. So let me just go back again. All right. So I'm not seeing the chat anymore. So I'm now on our discussion again. Right. Okay. Now, for you to be able to know if there is a view template that is applied to your current view. So this is how it's going to be. Of course, you can check the properties here. And then you can check the view template. If you see none, then there's no view template that is applied in your current view. But of course, if this is, um, if you click that none, here you can assign the view template. Okay? So let's say let us assign the HVAC return, right? So do not expect any changes anymore because we already applied the view properties of the HVAC return, right? So what we are just going to do now is we are applying or assigning, we are going to assign the view template. So I'm just going to select OK. And there you go. So there's now a view template that is assigned here. So, hey Rich, what is the difference if you're just going to apply the template properties from assigning a view template? Okay, so right now, there is a view template that is already assigned to my current view. Okay, so what is the difference? If there is a view template that is already assigned in your current view, okay, you will not be able to easily change the view properties of this view. Like for example, oh, I changed my mind. I do not want 1 is to 100. So what, what I want is uh, 1 is to 50. So you cannot just simply go to properties and then change that scale. Because as you can see here, okay, so all of the properties that will allow me to change the view property is disabled. I can change the detail level, the view scale, the discipline. I can't even go to the visibility graphic overrides if I select the edit here. You see, it's disabled. Okay, so sometimes this is also uh, confuse some of the new users in Revit. So sometimes what happens is uh, sometimes what happens is, um, hey, teacher, or sometimes they are going to chat with me. Hey, Rich, why is it I cannot change the visibility graphic override? You see, it's 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 disabled. It's grayed out. It's half tone. 
if I go to my view control bar to change the scale here, you see, I cannot change. Okay, they freak out. So if I, if I want to change the detail level, I cannot. If I change, okay, I cannot, right? Why? Because there is a view template that is applied to your current view. So that's one good thing about the view template. So you can just simply change it because we use this, we use the view temp, uh, view template to standardize our view. Okay, actually, this is one of the things that a BIM manager should do uh, to set up your project. Okay, you need to have your own view template set up for you. Okay, now, so let's say I change my mind. Um, I want to make it 1 is to 100 scale. So how are you going to do that? So to do that, you need to go to your view template. You click that one. And then after that, you change from here, right? You see, you can change from here. But, oh, hey, before you change, make sure you are sure of that one. <laughs> okay, because as you can see, if you read this portion here, what does it say? Number of views with this template assigned. So currently, it only assigned to one view, right? You see, you can only see here one. So, of course, for the meantime, it's okay. I can just simply change this to 1 is to 50, for example, because it's only applied to one view, to my current view, okay? So I can change that, let's say, to 1 is to 50, I select that, and then I select OK. So it's now 1 is to 50, right? But before you do that, next time, make sure you are really sure about what you are going to do with that template or editing on that view template because sometimes it is applied to multiple views. There are some instances you only want your current view to be modified. Okay? Not the other views. Okay? So not the other views. So let's say my HVAC return is also applied to level 2, HVAC return. Level 3, HVAC return. Level 4, HVAC return. So you have multiple views. So you will be able to see it here. So sometimes you can see here 10. Sometimes you can see it 5. So meaning it is applied to 5 views. So let's say you want you only want this view to be 1 is to 50. Then do not just simply go to your uh, view template and then modify the scale here. Because what will happen is the other views, level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5, it will also be updated. So the scale of that will going to be 1 is to 50 as well. Because this is applied to multiple views. Okay? So just make sure. So if that is what you want, then that's okay. That's, uh, that's how good the view template. You only change one property on the view template and automatically it will be applied to other views. That is one good thing about view template. But on the other hand, it can actually be a double-edged uh, sword, right? So sometimes, unknowingly, you are just new in Revit. You do not know what you are doing. You just simply change the view template, okay? And knowing that the other uh, the other views will going to be uh, modified as well because you have multiple views applied on this current view template. So just be careful about that or you need to ask the view manager if you are not sure on what you are doing. Okay, you always ask. That is very important. So you always ask, okay? Right. Okay, now, if, let's say, you only want this view. Let's say this view template is applied to three views. And this is the only view that you want to change to one is to 50. So what you can do is, one option, you can... Uh, I'm not going to say that you can just remove the view template because it's not standard. Although you can you can remove the view template. You can just select none and then select OK. So if you do that, there's no uh, view template applied here. Then you can do the changes of the view properties again from the view control bar, from the properties. But then again, it's not standard. Okay. All right. But of course you can you can do that. So just remove the view template and then just change it here. Okay, without the view template. But just in case your standard is you always need 
you you always need to use the view template so what you can do is I will just apply this one right apply okay so what you can do is um, first option you can duplicate this so you can select this one and then you can select uh, duplicate okay so there's a duplicate option here so just click that one and then it's up to you so let's say this is our what's what level is this uh, level two right so maybe you can make it uh, H, P, A, C, return, level, oops, return, level 2, like that, okay? All right, and then select OK. There you go. So you now have this to view template. So what you can do is, since this is the one that you want, or maybe what you can do you can uh, let me just write rename this one so I select that and then rename since I want the scale right so I'm just going to put here 1 is to 50 okay like that so that you know that this is an HVAC return that will make your scale 1 is to 50 so I'm just going to apply that and then I can select OK so by doing that, you will not be able to touch the HVAC return that is, for example, already applied to other view. Okay? So hopefully you get the idea, right? It's not that difficult. Okay? So another option, okay, another option aside from duplicating your view template and creating another one is that, so let's say the original is HVAC return and then apply. Okay? So what you can do is, if you think that you always want to modify the scale and you only want to use one view template so what you can do is in your in the view template what you can do is you can just uncheck it here you see this one include include so these are the view properties that is included to your view template so what you can do is you can just uncheck the view scale Okay, so this is what will happen. So your view scale is not included to the view template, to the view properties. So if I select here, okay, right? So if I click this, you will notice that you can now already change it, right? Because it's not, it's not locked to a view template because you did not include this view property to the template. So you can just change it from your view control bar or the view scale here on the properties okay so let's say for example uh, I go back again to HVAC return view template uh, I want to include the scale but let's say oh I do not want to include the visibility graphic overrides model so I'm going to uncheck that I select your okay so there you go if I select the visibility graphic overrides here edit I can now see that I, I I cannot modify here, but the others here I cannot, right? Because I only selected the uh, model categories, the visibility graphic overrides model categories, right? So basically, that's how you uh, work on your uh, view template. Let me just um, make it again. I'm just going to apply this one, and then OK here. Okay, is that clear? Do you have any question, kids, class? Oh, so tiring, okay? 30 minutes talking again. <sighs> okay, so is that clear? Now, what we are going to do next is we are going to create a view template for supply because as you can see, uh, we only have return, right? You only have return so let's create a view template for supply because we want to set up our supply view take note that this is also how you do it in other discipline like plumbing like electrical like fire protection okay this is how you modify the the view template okay so let us just let me just go back again to my revit so i'm not looking to our chat anymore all right here so I'm gonna open the view template here again 
I'm going to manage view template. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, oops, let me just make this mechanical again. And floor, structural area plans. Okay, so there's my HVAC return, right? So I'm just going to duplicate this. So let's duplicate this one. Let's duplicate that. There you go. And then let's call this HVAC dash supply. Supply. Enter. Okay. So what we did is we use the settings of our return. We duplicate that to create our HVAC supply. Of course, the view template HVAC supply, which is not yet apply, uh, applied to any view, the current setting of that is a uh, return. So we're going to change this. Okay. So actually, the only uh, changes that we need to do here is the filter, right? So let's go to the filter. Later on, I'm going to show you how to create the filter. Don't worry. Okay, so I'm going to select here. Edit. Click that one. Okay, so since this is HPAC supply view template, so I'm going to uncheck the visibility of my return. And I'm going to check the visibility of the supply. That's it. And the visibility of the model categories is the same as return annotation categories the only difference is the filter okay so i'll just select your okay there you go and then i select your okay all right so now that we have created the view template so we are now ready to apply a uh, template properties on our current view or sorry i opened the supply here double click that okay so we are now ready to apply a template property here on our current uh, current view, or we can assign a view template. So to make it standard, I'll just assign a view template. So properties, there's the view template. Just select none, and then let's select supply. Oops, this one. Then OK. So we are now going to see the supply. There you go. You see? Very nice. Okay, so what can you say guys? Is it is it good? The view template is a very powerful tool in Revit. So we use this to standardize our view. Okay, now, um, the next thing that I'm going to do is, uh, huh, let's say I want to have a 3D view. Okay, so uh, this is my 3D view here. So I want to duplicate this. This is my original 3D view. By the way, uh, just in case you deleted your 3D view, let's say for, for some reason, you accidentally delete that. So you press delete, so you don't have 3D view anymore, right? Don't worry, you always you always have your 3D view. Just click that icon, default 3D view. Or you can create a shortcut 3D, key, uh, keyboard shortcut. So remember, you can type KS. Okay, so top tip, you can type KS to show the keyboard shortcut. And then you can look for 3D. Okay. Where is my 3D? Which is this one, right? Default 3D view. So there is no shortcut, right? There's no shortcut. So I'm going to select this and then I'm going to assign here a shortcut. So I'm going I'm just going to type 3D or whatever shortcut that you want. And then you assign it. This is the top tip of the day. Okay. How to create a 3D shortcut. So assign it. So it's already assigned. Okay. So now instead of selecting this icon, I'm just going to type 3D without pressing enter see there you go okay so let's look for that so currently here in my view it's under coordination so how do i know because there is no 3d here it's not under mechanical it's not under electrical but if i'm going to expand the coordination expand it expand it so there's my 3d view and you see that 
there's a question mark, right? Again, this is some of the all-time questions that I'm receiving on my YouTube channel. Hey, Rich, why is it there's a question mark on my project browser? Okay, so the reason why there is a question mark on your project browser, as you can see, this question mark here is in line with the lighting, with the HVAC, okay, with the power, if you have a power. Now, what is this lighting? What is this HVAC? So let's say, for example, I'm going to open the level 2 HVAC plan return. So this view is under HVAC, right? So if I check the properties of that, so I can see that mm -hmm. the HVC, that is actually a sub-discipline, right? So meaning to say, your lighting here, that is also a sub-discipline, right? So if I double-click the level 2 lighting plan, and then I go to properties, and then I look for the sub-discipline. So that is actually a sub-discipline, right? The lighting. And if I click this drop-down arrow, I can see here all the sub-discipline. Okay? I can see all this sub-discipline. Now, going back to the 3D view, if I double-click this, if I'm going to check the properties here, so what will you notice? Okay, what is the sub-discipline of your 3D view? Blank! That's the reason why there is a question mark. Revit do not know what is the sub-discipline of your current view. Okay? So, for you to be able to define it, okay, it's either you apply a view template in your current view or you can just change it manually. So, I can change that to, let's say, oh, this view, I want that to be under lighting sub-discipline. So, I select lighting, for example, and then apply. So, if I go to my project browser, it's now under lighting, but it's still under coordination. So, let's say, oh, I want my current view here to be under the electrical discipline. So what are you going to do? So you just go to the properties and then you just change the discipline, click drop down, change to electrical, apply project browser, check. There you go. You see? And as you can see, the settings of your view changes. It's now highlighting the MEP. It's not highlighting anymore the architectural Okay, although the, ar the architectural is still there, it's gray out, right? You see, it's gray out. It's highlighting the MEP. Now, so for this one, the reason why I created the 3D view here is I want to create a 3D view for my uh, return and then for my supply. Okay, so let's say I'm going to right-click this. I'm going to rename. Let's rename this one. So let's call this... So let's call this um, 3D 3D uh, return return enter okay so in this view I want to show only the return okay the return doc so what am I going to do is I'm just going to assign a view template so let's go there view template None. Let's select. Oops. Our current view is 3D here. That's why it's showing here all the uh, view template for 3D. Okay. This 3D here. But I do not want that. I want by floor here. Uh, where is my return? No, I, so I select the return. I select here. Okay. There you go. See, that's my return. I don't want sh uh, want to show the level here. So I'm just going to hide it. So I'm going to right-click that. Hide in view. Elements. I cannot select category to hide all the levels at once. So that's why what I'm going to do is I'm going to select like this. Crossing selection. And then right-click, hide in view, elements. There you go. All right. Okay. I also want to hide this one. 
this floor. So right click, hide in view elements. There you go. Okay, so there's now my uh, return. So I'm going to duplicate this. Same procedure, duplicate. And then I'll just rename this. I call this uh, supply. Supply, enter. And then select the supply, go to properties, apply a view template supply. Okay, supply. Oops, this one. Supply, okay. There you go, right? Okay, so it's only showing the supply. Okay. Right, so basically that's how you work on your view template. Of course, there are other settings that you can uh, that you can modify to set up your view template. Okay, like your uh, detail level, like your visual style, you can modify the view template. So you can go to the view template, manage view template, and then you can change from here. Okay, right, so that's it for our view template. It's basic, right? So do you have any questions on that? Okay, so do you have any questions on your... Uh, View template. So let me just close this one. So I'm going to type uh, WT and then I'm going to type ZA. There you go. So we have different views. Okay, so that is our view template. Right, good. Okay not difficult now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what is the idea behind the filter the ones that we uh, that we saw earlier right uh, how are we going to create that filter okay to control also the visibility aside from the view template so how are we going to do that okay so let's do this one mm, I'm going back again to my Revit oops Okay, there you go. So I'm just going to maximize this exercise here. So we are now done with the exercise uh, managing views, okay? Wherein we use the view template. So we now go to our next exercise, which is visibility. So I'm just going to maximize this one, maximize it. And then as you can see, I have, um, I have so many, I have so many views open, right? So if I want to close uh, the views and leave only one view for my other file and one view for my current view, so I can just use this tool here. Close inactive views. So just click that one and there you go. So I now have one view for my uh, visibility file and I now have one view for managing views. I actually don't need any more this managing views file so I'm just going to close this one so we are done with that but of course you can still ask me question regarding the view template okay alright so what's with this one okay what is with this um, uh, model here alright so for this exercise what we are gonna do is we're going to control, again, we're going to control the visibility of the elements using visibility graphic overrides and filter. Okay, and maybe I'm just, uh, we're going to create a view template again. Okay, so the scenario in this exercise is we need to de-emphasize the HVAC return and HVAC exhaust system of our office building in our let's say a uh, ceiling plan view but we want to emphasize the hvac supply system okay so again what we are going to do here is we are going to de-emphasize the hvac return and the hvac exhaust 
and then we are going to emphasize the supply so how am i going to know what is the supply what is the return what is the exhaust you just simply select your dock okay like for example this one this color blue one so i'll just click that one and then i'll go to the properties and then i can see here the system classification so basically our blue here the blue color is supply okay so that's our supply and for the magenta i click that one so that's a return and then of course for the green one that is our exhaust okay so click that one there you go so there's the exhaust so basically we want to emphasize the blue one and we do not want to emphasize the magenta and then the green but we still want the visibility of our uh, magenta and then the green we just want to emphasize our uh, blue here so that is what we're gonna do okay now let me what is our current view our current view is level 2 MEP all okay now for this one okay so for this one I'm going to open the visibility graphic overrides okay so let's open up the visibility graphic overrides so you can type VV Okay, so you can type VB. VB, okay, let me just, all right, where's my view? Okay, so it's type VB, there you go. So there's the visibility graphic overrides for our level 2 MEP supply or our MEP all. So for this one, since this is, we want to set up our dock, what we are going to do is, uh, I want to create a supply view okay I want to create a supply view currently all right the name of our view here is level 2 MEP all all so meaning to say it shows also your other uh, disciplines such as oh level 2 MEP all we want to show as well the lighting right because currently it only shows here the mechanical you see you can see the air terminal the docks but there's no lighting here right there's no lighting so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna open the visibility graphic overrides and then I'm gonna look for uh, lighting lighting where are you okay so there's my lighting fixtures okay so I'll just check the lighting fixtures because our current view is uh, MEP all okay so MEP all so that's why of course we want to show also lighting for example and then I select okay and there you go so there's now our lighting right so the name now of our view makes sense so it shows also electrical mechanical although there's no plumbing here but that's okay all right so the next thing that we are going to do is after uh, showing the electrical, the lighting, we are going to duplicate our current view with detailing. Okay, so remember, right click, duplicate with detailing. Okay, so duplicate with detailing. So for this one, let's rename this. Rename. Oh, by the way, another way to rename your view is you can. Uh, click that view and then as you can see you can now rename or uh, let's say I go to level 1 I click level 1 and then you press F2 function 2 F2 and then it will allow you to rename as well okay another way of renaming again let me show you click one view and then click again so it will rename okay so aside from right click rename okay all right anyway so I'll just right click that rename so I will call this uh, level 2 MEP supply so meaning to say here in this view I want to highlight the supply okay I want to highlight the supply and then I'm gonna open the visibility graphic overrides here and then since this is level ME, uh, level 2 MEP supply, 
I do not want to show here the lighting fixtures. Okay? I do not want to see the lighting fixtures. Because now, this is level 2 MEP supply. It's not level 2 MEP all. Okay? So, level 2 MEP supply. So, I do not want to see lighting fixtures here. So, that's why I'm going to uncheck it. Okay? And aside from that, I do not want to see any tags here. Let's say, for example, the names, the tags of the air terminal. So, that's why I'm going to go ahead and select the annotation categories. And then I'm going to clear show annotation categories in this view. So I do not want, instead of unchecking this one by one, so I'm just going to uncheck this. There you go. And then uh -huh, for the filter, okay, so this one. Okay, so as you can see, all the visibility of our supply return exhaust is checked. Okay, we want to see all of this system but we just want to make our return here half tone so there's an option there half tone okay as well as the return and exhaust okay so there's a half tone so what will happens to the color it becomes a little bit half of its original color okay it will becomes half tone so in that way our supply here will be emphasized while the return and exhaust will gonna be de-emphasized. Okay? So I'm going to select your OK. And let's wait. There you go. See? So as you can see, our other system is still there, right? You just can't see it clearly because of our background here. It's black. But if I'm gonna change my background again to white, options graphics uh, background white okay okay see and I want to see also the line weights so currently the line weights of our uh, model here is not being shown okay because of this option here pin lines PL Okay, so you, this is currently activated. That's why it shows only single line width. But if I'm going to uncheck the pin lines, it will now show here the thickness of our elements, right? And then in this view, it's now clearly our blue is highlighted, but our magenta, our green, it's half tone. So that's how you control it okay now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a filter for the for the MEP supply so let's say for example I want to create another view let's say level 1 that shows also the MEP supply okay so instead of redoing all the steps that we did a while ago so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to create a view template using the settings of my current view okay using the settings of my current view so to do that you can right click the level 2 MEP supply so our next goal is we want to create a view template using the settings of our current view which is the level 2 MEP supply so to do that you can right click and then there is an option here, create view template from view. So just click that and then you can specify the name here. So let's say I will call this MEP supply. Okay. MEP supply and then OK here. There you go. So there's now our MEP supply. So if I'm going to check this, if I'm going to check the filter of this, it's already set up because we copy the settings of our current view, right? You see the filter is there. And then if I go to the model categories, the lighting fixture here is turned off. It's unchecked, right? If I go to annotation categories, it's also unchecked. Why? Because the settings of our MEP supply came from the current view, okay? So that's how you use that option. And then I select your OK. Okay, so that the next time you have another view which requires you to show only the supply 
or the exhaust, or the return, or the power, or the plumbing, or the sanitary, or domestic. Okay, you only need to apply the template. Okay, you don't need to redo all the things that you have done. Like, for example, for this one, I'm going to duplicate this one. Duplicate. I'll just select duplicate. Okay, and then I'll just rename this one. So I will call this uh, level 2 MEP supply. Okay, enter. Now, this is my current view. As you can see, it highlights all the the system here. Now what I'm going to do is just so apply the view template, right? Remember, just go to the none of the view template and then apply your view template, which is this one. MEP supply and then OK and there you go. See? Right? Okay. So is that clear? Is that clear? Do you have any question? It's not difficult, right? It's not difficult. Okay. Hello, Ed. Ed, I don't know what's that. I don't know what that means. All right. So let me just check out this one. Uh, Google Translate. Hey. Oh, hey, so that means hello. Hello to... Okay. <laughs> hello, Ed, Ed. All right, so let's move on. Okay. So basically, that's how you that's how you do it. So how about, let's say, for example, how about return? Okay, how about return? Same procedure. So I'm going to duplicate, let's say, the level 1 MEP all. So I'm going to duplicate this. Duplicate. I think you already know the answer or the the procedure on how to do that. So I want to have a level one MEP that re, that shows return, right? Shows return, return, return. Okay, enter. So what we are going to do is we are just going to uh, go to the view. View template, manage view template. We're going to duplicate. Okay, where's my floor here? Okay, we're going to duplicate this, right? Remember, just select that, duplicate it, and then you call it what? MEP return. Okay, MEP return. Okay, and don't forget to go to filter right you go you go to the filter this time i'm going to make my supply half tone and my return unchecked okay all right and then that's it okay select okay select okay and then we apply here so you go to properties view template Okay, where's my return? That's one. Okay. And there you go. You see? It highlights our return system. There you go. Right? Okay. So, how did they make the, the template? So, like, for example, uh, if I go to the 3D view... Okay, so here's my 3D view. So how did they create the template? Okay, because I haven't shown you yet. Because the template is already created. So what if you want to create that template? Okay, so let's try to do this. So I'm going to open the visibility graphic overrides. Go to filters. And then after that, let's select your edit new. So let's check out the settings of the template that we have earlier which is the mechanical supply. So if I select that one, mm. so you check the categories. So we need to say, what are the categories that is included to this template, to this mechanical supply? So if I check the categories here, you move the slider, you can see that 
these are the categories that is included to your uh, mechanical supply template, right? Uh, uh, filter, mechanical supply filter. So you have the duct accessories, duct fittings, insulators, linings, ducts. I think we also have flex duct. No, so they didn't include the flex duct. So that's it. So, so the first thing that you need to do is you create a template that one so you click that and then after that you specify the name right specify the name so right after you specify the name for example mechanical supply or whatever name that you want you need to select what is the category so meaning what are the categories that you want to be included to the filter to your mechanical supply so for this example so these are the categories that is apply okay that is needed to be applied when you select the mechanical supply filter now what is the rule okay so that's the next step that you will be doing check out the rule so here the rule is and and rule okay just use the and rule okay no need to add i because the reason why you only need the system classification. Okay, system classification is this one here. Okay, so if you click your element here, for example, your doc, if you click the doc, you can see here, system classification. So basically, you can select other categories as your basis for your filter. You can select the reference level, you can select the top elevation, Okay, you can select middle elevation. It depends on the rule that you are going to select on the filter. Now, in this uh, exercise that we have, they use the system classification as the rule when selecting elements on your uh, filter. So, like, if I go to VV again, to the visibility graphic overrides, edit. So, if I select the supply, so that's the rule of that. So, all the system classification that contains supply will gonna be selected or will gonna be highlighted or it will gonna be visible or it will gonna be invisible okay this is the rule if the system classification contains supply so it will be fall under the mechanical supply discipline or i mean uh, filter so that's it. So like, for example, in our current view, as you can see, there is no filter here that is applied. So let's say I'm going to add one. So I'm going to, ah, this one. I'm going to add the mechanical supply. So I click the supply and then I select your OK. Now, aside from the visibility and then the half tone here, of course, you can also use here the projection surface. Okay. Like, for example, what is the pattern that you want to be shown on your mechanical supply deck in your 3D view? You can change the pattern. You can select override. Just click that. You can change here the foreground pattern, the background pattern, as well as the color. So, like, for example, I want to change the pattern to solid fill. And then I want to change the color to color blue blue okay that one okay, I'm not going to touch the background so I'll just select this one as you can see I have specified here you can also change here the transparency right if you want to make your dock your mechanical supply dock to be somewhat transparent so that you can see the elements behind it or you want to make it more clearer so you can modify the transparency okay but i'm not going to touch that one lines it lines when you say lines that is the 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 lines of your your duct the linings the linings you see that lines here those linings the boundary because the pattern that is the shade of your duct so if I'm going to select here, okay, so as you can see the mechanical supply is visible. 
So this will gonna be the pattern color blue, solid fill. So I select your OK to apply that template, and there you go. Right? Okay. So if I go again to the visibility graphic overrides here, go to filter. Let's add. I'm gonna add the. Uh, uh, exhaust okay so I can uncheck the exhaust here and then okay so as you can see all the exhaust now disappears so let's say I do not want to see the return so go to the visibility graphic overrides so you add the return the return okay uncheck the return and then okay and boom okay it shows only here your supply okay so this is also supply so if i click this one so you see the system classification is supply it just it didn't change the color as well as the flexible dock here but the system classification of that one is containing the word supply that's why it's there Okay, now let's say I want to include the flexible dock and then the air terminals to the filter, meaning I want that to be blue as well. So take note that the line here is black because we didn't change it, which is ideal, okay? You do not want this to be black as uh, uh, blue as well, the line here, because you will not be able to uh, uh, visualize it nicely. You see, if I go to edit, filter if I make it blue as well it's not that good okay but uh, it, but it's up to your preference actually but it's not my preferred color for the line I do not want the line to be blue as well you see it's like that I do I do not want that I want to see the lining color black okay go to edit filters uh, I'll just all uh, clear the override then okay now uh, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do um, edit new I'm gonna edit the supply so I'm gonna apply here as well or I'm gonna select the air terminal category as well and then the flex duck letter F flex duck okay then okay and then okay let's see what happens there you go see so this one, if I click this equipment, the system classification of that is, is what? Oh yeah, it's because it's connected to the uh, system classification supply air. So this one is connected there. Okay. So again, you may want to change this, the name of this view. So like 3D uh, supply if you want, but of course you can still uh, show the return if you want and then the exhaust so let's say for the return I want that to be filled as well solid fill and then what's the return color the return is magenta right magenta okay and then for the exhaust this one is green solid fill okay okay there you go. Oh, where's the green? Did I didn't I check it? Filters. Oh yeah. I didn't check the visibility. So check that one. Okay. Let's apply the filter. And there you go. It's really colorful. Again, uh, this is also how you create your filter for your electrical, for your architectural, for your structural. You only need to check out the property that you want to ch uh, that you want to use as a basis of your rule when you create the filter. You may want to base it on the thickness. You may want to base it. Let's say if I select this one, you may want to base it on the type properties here. Okay, so you may want to base it on the type mark because you can type here, right? You can type. 
or you, you can also type the cost here, like 100. So you can paste the filter to the cost that contains 100 or equal to 100. So it will be selected, it will change the color, it will be visible, it will be invisible. So that's how the filter works. And then the filter, you can add that to your view template. So that's one good thing about the filter because filter is part of a view properties. So you can uh, set the view template also using the view filters. Okay. Is that cool? Uh, okay, hello and then power, power. How to create filter? Can you assist us how to create additional doc system that I have separate? And how to create filter for it? So many questions. <laughs> okay, this is how you do it. So first question, how to create a filter. I already show you how to create the filter, right? But let me just do it for you again. For the benefit of Anand, I'm good. Achilles Sharma, actually we are about to finish. Hey, good afternoon to you, Musibu Rahman Mohammed. Okay, hi. So how to create a filter? So let's create a filter. Okay, that's great. Let's do this. Uh, I'll do it from scratch. So let's go create using uh, systems template. Okay. All right, but actually, since this is a template already, there is a filter here already, right? So there's already a filter. But let's say there's no filter. <laughs> actually, you know already how to do it. So I'm just going to delete this. <laughs> Basically, I'm just going to redo this one. <laughs> okay, so let's say I don't have the exhaust. Delete the return. I don't have. <laughs> so let's say I don't have the mechanical supply. Okay. Right, so I'll just select OK. See, I don't have filter anymore. So how to create filter? So you go to the visibility graphic override. So you go to filter. Let's select edit new. And then let's add. So this is new. Okay. So you just put the name here. So it's up to you. Uh, let's say supply. Or whatever name that you want. Just select. Okay. And then what are the elements? or the categories that you want to be included to your supply system. So let's say I want to include the air terminals, and then I also want to include the dock, accessories, fittings, okay, whatever, whatever, here, dock, dock, okay, flex dock, okay. So select the category. First, create the name or create a filter, specify the name, category, and then the rule. So I'll just use end rule. Okay. Oh, add rule. Sorry. Oh, sorry. So I don't need that. So the rule is, okay, you can select any of this. So these are the categories that you can find on your uh, categories that you have selected here. So for the flex duct, ducts, duct linings, duct insulation, uh, duct fittings, duct accessories, these are the categories that is common to the categories that you have selected here. Oh, I mean, these are the parameters or properties that is common to these categories that you have selected here. And one of the common things among them is the, it's up to you, uh, type mark, uh, system name, uh, system classification, okay? So like, for example, I'll just use the basic one, system classification, and then I select here, OK, and then I just select here, OK. Now, I go to the, OK, so we are now on the HVAC plan, zero mech. So I'll just create a duct here just to check our filter if it is working or not. So I'll create a duct here, duct, let's create one here, click, apply. Okay, so if I click this one, properties, so the system classification here is supply. Okay, so automatically it becomes uh, blue here. But if I go to the visibility graphic overrides and then filters, I can control the visibility of that if I apply the supply here. So I select the supply. 
Wait, it didn't apply. Wait, uh, system classification, apply. What, what happened? Mm. Okay, so it's not applying. System classification that contains supply, okay? Right, so that's the rule. So this is the supply. System classification that contains the word supply. And then okay. Right, and then let's add it here. Add the supply. And then okay. There you go. So there's the supply, so there's the visibility, so let's modify the pattern here. I'm going to make it uh, color uh, blue, okay, I'll just override this one, so let's say I'll make it black. So let's see what will happen because there's already a color here applied, so let's see what will happen if we apply the filter, then okay. Okay, so right now, it didn't apply here the shaded color here. So what we are going to do is, I'm going to select the project browser here because like what I have said, this is already a template. So there is a preset settings here. So I'm going to check the families here. This is the families. And then you look for the uh, doc system. Okay, so there's the doc system. Okay, so you just find that expand that so they already created here the different doc system so for your question a while ago uh, what's your name again okay uh, an uh, Anand okay yeah thank you for that Amasibur sorry I I'm late I didn't I didn't read your 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 advice here yeah so that's what i did a while ago so you have to select the supply in supply in rule last column so that's what we did now for your question anand if you want to create a new doc system for kitchen air so th this is where you do it okay so these are the system so you can just duplicate one of this uh system here and then make it uh the name like for example uh, kitchen Okay, so kitchen supply. That's it. So you now have a new system. Now, when we created this duct here, if I select that, properties, there is already a system classification applied there, which is supply. Okay, so it's already created here. This is the default already. So if I double click this and then check the overrides, this one, double click. So you see there's a color here already, blue. So every time you create a duct that has a system classification of supply, they already created here a duct system for that, which is blue. So if I'm going to clear this one, so there's no override anymore. I select OK. So let's see what will happen now in our view here. And then... Mm -hmm. How about if I'm going to remove that? Because it's already applied. Now, there's a conflict, so our filter is not working properly here. What did we select here? Oh, the solid fill. Okay, let's see what happens. Yeah, that one. Okay. So that's how you create your uh, filter. Okay, and also that's how you create your doc system. Anyway, we are going to discuss this on our uh, discussion on HVAC. Okay, I'm just, I'm going to show this to you again. So right now, our topic is about the filter. So basically, that's how you create your filter. Okay, so if you're not sure of the filter on the procedure and how to do that, of course, you can rewatch this video after it is 
upload it to YouTube. Or you can just simply open your Revit project and then you go to the visibility graphic overrides. You can actually learn from the filter that they are using here. Like for example, for the domestic, if you uh, if you go to the edit new, what is the filter that they use on the domestic? Okay, so as you can see, it's based on the system. So it's always or most of the time they use based on the system classification. Okay, and then again, you need to specify here the categories that is needed so that your uh, filter will select this uh, model elements. Okay, right? Okay, so hope this one is clear, guys. Okay. So do you have any questions? So you can now's the time you can ask questions. Yep. Thanks for that. Yes, you cannot over okay, so thanks for the thanks for the input Muzibur. Okay, so so according to him, so check check the properties bar to see which template is applied. And then you can also uh, it says here because you cannot override default okay you can override the default and you can also uh, create different types of system from there actually not only the doc system but you can also create different pipe systems on that you just need to go to the project browser okay so I think <clears throat> it's already nine o'clock here actually it's not nine it's eight fifty seven I'm already tired, so we already discussed our topic about the basic of view template and then the filter. So before we end up, I just want to shout out the 14 viewers that is currently here and also third, uh, thank you for the 14 likes. Okay, so shout out to Ambogeni Sibanda, Boris, as always. Mom Anna Lizette Lareza, Sahiba Gujral. What else? Who else? Narendra, uh, Venkatesh, Ed Ed, Muzibur, Akhilesh, Akhilesh, Anand Power. Okay, thank you guys for uh, coming in here. So, I guess for our next. Um, uh, for our next discussion, it will gonna be again on Tuesday. So maybe we are going to make it uh, a normal schedule. It's Tuesday and Friday, God willing. If there's no problem, so that is always our uh, schedule. Okay. So I really appreciate guys for all your inputs and for your questions and for attending our live stream so hopefully you guys you are learning on our live stream okay so again okay so thank you stan and i'm not your boss guys you are all my boss okay so thanks for visiting our live stream so once again uh this is learning with rich signing off God bless and take care. Okay, so be safe, guys. So you take care also, guys. Narendra, take care. You guys take care of your family and yourself as well. Okay, so thanks, guys. See you on Tuesday. Okay, my email is learningwithrich at gmail.com. But it would be better you just chat it on one of my YouTube video because I always check that one. I seldom check my email and I don't use WhatsApp. Okay. Right. I cannot I cannot see who is the who are all the viewers right now, but I can see that you guys attended. Okay. So Oh, you're planning to take projects, so that's good. So are we going to earn money for that one? If it is you can send me an email, so let's try to do that. Yeah, sure. Just send me an email. Alright. Because I'm already sleepy, guys. It's already 9 p.m. So my email is learningwithrich at gmail.com. Okay? So once again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.